My desk setup is predominantly black, brown with a little dash of green. And in curating my everyday carry, I wanted to match this theme as well with products that are both functional and that fit the aesthetic. I'll also go over the reasons I got some of these products from the perspective of someone who's trying to be a conscious consumer. I'm proud to say that my Google Pixel 2 XL has lasted me a good 5 years. Just in the last months, I've really started to notice the failing battery life and I cracked the screen by accident. If it made sense to replace the battery and glass, I would have done so, but Google also officially stopped security updates for the Pixel 2 line in December 2020. Planned obsolescence is a bitch, isn't it? Enter the Google Pixel 5a. I didn't want to get the Pixel 6 because of numerous complaints about its software issues and fingerprint scanner. The Pixel 5a doesn't have this issue because it retains the fingerprint scanner at the back. I appreciate that it retains the same design language as the previous Pixels. I'm not big into getting the latest flagship phones. It really only needs to be able to text, watch videos, and take photos. So I don't need the latest Google Tensor or Snapdragon 69420 chip. Nice. Since I'm trying to be a more intentional and conscious consumer, I did consider the Fairphone, which is a brand that prides themselves on their repairability and sustainability. But reviews indicate it has poor camera performance, and that's something that's really important to me. Hopefully, sustainable and repairable tech picks up in the future, and we can move on from making these incremental upgrades in our phones every two years. With luck, I plan to have this Pixel last me another five or more years. The amazing 99 Noirs are my daily drivers for on-the-go listening. Super idol, the showroom, the I just love the way they look with the walnut wood ear cups and black headband and ear pads. Audiophile reviews would tell you that the sound is really bass heavy, almost a little too bass heavy that it drowns out the mid-tones. I'd have to agree, but I like bass and I'm not an audiophile by any stretch, so I'm generally okay with that. These headphones are wired, so it can be cumbersome to set up, especially in this age of wireless earbuds, but I'm willing to overlook these inconveniences for its aesthetics. The PU leather ear cups started to wear after more than a year of use though, so I got these micro suede ear pads from Brainwaves. They feel really good, like real suede. Hopefully, they last much longer than the PU leather ones that came with the original. If you find that your ear pads on your headphones are wearing out, consider buying a replacement pair of ear pads instead of replacing the entire thing. I've been eyeing the Orbit Key Key organizer for a while now, so you can imagine my excitement when they actually reached out. Thank you Orbit Key for sending this out for review, but even if you didn't, I would probably have gotten one anyway. It comes in many colorways and I got this in chestnut brown and black to fit the theme. It essentially turns your key into a Swiss army knife. It's a great and aesthetic way to keep your keys organized and prevents your keys from scratching your phone when you put it into your pockets. You can also purchase a multi-tool separately that serves as a box opener, which comes in very handy in a pinch. Orbit Key is climate neutral certified, meaning they are measuring their carbon footprint and taking active steps to reduce and offset their carbon. They have pledged for 50% of their products to be made of responsibly sourced leather. If you're vegan, they also have a line of products made from cactus leather. All in all, Orbit Key has a sound sustainability strategy and it's something that I can really respect as a conscious consumer. I use a leather wallet from Fossil that I've had for about 5 years. It has ample compartments for cards and a coin pouch, which is something that seems to have gone out of fashion. It's kind of scuffed and has fraying stitches in some areas, but it still works perfectly fine. I'm not big on watches and the only one I own is this automatic watch from Fossil that unfortunately has stopped working. I'm including it in this video because it fits the aesthetic and as a reminder to myself to get it fixed. A water bottle is essential to stop using single-use bottled water. Research has actually shown that when you drink from single-use bottles, you're ingesting microplastics that end up in the water from the bottling process. So do it for your own health if not for the environment. I used to use this blue Tupperware bottle. It was starting to leak and the cap was fraying. Honestly, it also does look kind of tacky with that glossy blue. I've since replaced it with the Tempa 600ml bottle with a matte black finish and walnut wood cap. 
It's an insulated bottle that keeps warm for up to 12 hours and cold for up to 24 hours. The coating on it is really high quality and smooth and the cap has some actual wood grain on it instead of just being a printed pattern on plastic like in cheaper bottles. The cap also has a rubber strap so you can hang the bottle up. Overall, I'm happy with this purchase and I hope it lasts for a while. Living in the tropics where rain is always just around the corner, it's essential to have an umbrella with you. I don't usually shop from Taobao, but I did get this umbrella from a site from a brand called Parachase because of its aesthetics. Once again, it has the black and walnut combination and it has this thick curved handle which I thought was very unique. It was pretty cheap at about 18 Singapore dollars and it kinda shows. The wood pattern on the handle seems to be printed on and it scratches and chips off really easily. It still functions fine as an umbrella, but the build quality isn't the best and I wouldn't recommend it. To carry all my items, I used the Fjall Raven 28 liter backpack in the Deep Forest colorway. I bought this during a trip in Sweden. Fjall Raven products can be expensive, but I believe in their ethics and quality. The company has an initiative that supports the conservation of the Arctic fox in Scandinavia, it's literally in their name, and they have sustainable production policies. If you want to find out more about why Fjall Raven is sustainable, check out this great video from Our Changing Climate, I'll link it down below. The backpack comes with a compartment that can fit up to a 15 inch laptop, the pockets in the sides are great for the water bottle and umbrella, and I have different compartments for all the other parts of the EDC. Those are all my items in my everyday carry. What's yours? Let me know in the comments down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.